Kiefer here from Dropped and Rival Wild. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about archery releases. I'm going to talk to you about the release that I've been using religiously over the past few years, which is actually the Hardcore Buckle Foldback from True Fire. This release right here is awesome. It comes in a couple of different versions. It comes in a black version. It comes in a black max version that has a super thick plush strap. It also comes in a four finger uh, and a camo version as well. This one happens to be just the Hardcore Buckle Foldback Black. Um, and this release is incredible. One of the best things about this release is the amount of adjustability that it gives you. A lot of people don't think in terms of adjustability when they think archery release. True Fire did and they nailed it with this thing. So you've actually on this release itself, up here where the trigger head is, the post and the trigger head is, uh, you've got a full inch of adjustability up and down. There's a little set screw in here. All you do is take an Allen key, pop that set screw loose, and then you actually thread this thing up and thread it back down. And that's going to set your length and your adjustment on your length. It also has adjustability in the trigger. So you can adjust this trigger from three to 16 ounces. You hear a lot of people talking about trigger pressure when it comes to rifle hunting. Again, not a lot of people discuss it when it comes to archery releases. The trigger is adjustable. You can set it to be a super fine trigger, which only helps you when you're, when you're releasing that shot. Um, and then also one of the other designs, the swept back trigger. Having a trigger that's laid back and swept back like that allows you to relax that back hand as much as you can when you're at full draw. And when you touch the trigger, off it goes. So there's a lot of adjustability. There's a lot of cool design features. Um, the hook, the hook that's out on the end here, guaranteed not to slip off your bowstring in the loop. It's guaranteed not to do that. I prefer a wrist strap when I'm in a tree stand. This is the release I use. So the next time you're out there, be sure to check it out. Robbins from Live to Hunt TV. And we shoot True Fire releases. This is a release I shoot, it's the True Fire Spark. And it's designed for ladies or youth shooters, so it has a really slender, slim design to it, and that's one of the things that I absolutely love about this release. When I'm shooting my bow and out full draw, I don't even feel my release on my wrist, and that's the way it should be. Everything should be smooth and natural, and that is why I shoot True Fire releases. I shoot the release they call the Chicken Wing by True Fire. One of the biggest reasons that I shoot the Chicken Wing is because of the fine adjustment on the neck. You can adjust this release right down to the nearest millimeter of where you want it to sit in your hand, and I think that's important. When you're shooting a bow, you want to pull back and you want to find that anchor exactly where you want it to be and not have to adapt to the length of a release in your hand. And the chicken wing does just that for me. Whether shooting at a target or coming to full draw on a big mealy buck, the chicken wing gives me all the confidence I need to make that shot. Hi, I'm Chris at Spot Hog Archery Products. I'm going to introduce to you the Wise Guy releases. We have three versions of the Wise Guy. We have the Velcro strap with a rigid connection, we have a leather strap with a rigid connection, and we have a leather strap with a floating nylon connection. Each release offers trigger tension adjustment and is right and left hand adjustable. Let's take a look at the Velcro wrist strap model. Insert the Velcro strap into the ring and tighten to your comfort. An added benefit of the Velcro model is it works well with people who have smaller wrists. Note that you can fold back the release head while you're climbing into and out of your stand or traveling to and from your hunting area. This feature frees up your hand from obstruction. This is the wise guy with the leather buckle with a rigid connection. We have this version for those who want to get more consistent fit on their wrist. It still has the same right and left hand adjustment as the Velcro strap and also the same fold back feature. Our last Wise Guy release model has a leather buckle with a floating nylon connection. This release has the same leather wrist strap, however it allows you to have a much shorter or longer range of connection between the wrist strap and the head of the release. To learn more about the Wise Guy releases, please visit more of our Wise Guy. I want to talk a little bit about the smoke today, and as is the case with most of their caliper releases, True Fire has the fold back design, which I love, gets it out of your way from the gear and everything else. You can keep it like that, climbing up. You're not clinging on the stands or anything else. One of the things I like about the smoke is the forward trigger. It makes it much easier to take a deep bite and get a smoother release. You never want to release from this position because you'll end up jerking the shot. From back here, it's much smoother, gives you a better release. It's a dime sized head, and of course, it's that small dual caliper. Love this new release. One thing, one note I might add when it comes to caliper releases, you can set it up in the summer, get it to the length where it's comfortable to where you have a consistent squeeze every time. However, when you go hunting, don't forget you're going to add a glove to that and then all of a sudden the position changes. So just before the season, if you hunt with gloves on, make sure you readjust the overall length to accommodate that glove.
That's the new smoke from True Far. This is Jeff with True Glow. I want to show you how to change out the color sleeves on your Speed Shot bow release. To make the change, you'll need a 3 8 wrench. First grab the, the release head and loosen and remove the lock nut. Remove the sleeve, select the sleeve color that you would like, reinstall it on the wrist strap, engage the nut and then lock it back. You want to make sure that there's, there's enough thread from the release post exposed to make sure it's secure. Three or four threads exposed is good. Make sure that the sleeve is nice and tight also. Once you've done that, you're ready to go. Thanks for watching. Product buying link given in description.